This is Twit. As I've mentioned a number of times, GRC's number one by far, I mean far, 9.3 million downloads uh, so far, most popular software of all time is the DNS benchmark. I, I have been astounded by its popularity. Um, when I was putting the show notes together, I guess it was Sunday, uh, there it had been downloaded 9,313,642 times and around 1,600 downloads per day. Um, the benchmark pages uh, have a page that solicits feedback, and I am constantly receiving requests for new features. Um, mostly people are wondering how the speed of encrypted and privacy-protecting DNS using, you know, encryption, DOH, DOT, or DNS crypt compares with regular plain text DNS. Is it slower? Is it faster? What? Um, and despite the glacial, the glacial progress of IPv6, as we talked about last week, many people are requesting that I add support for IPv6 to the benchmark. And actually, I think that makes sense because when IPv6 is available, our systems use it preferentially. So you may be using an IPv6 DNS server, which the benchmark won't benchmark. So... Uh, other great ideas have been to allow the benchmark to verify the domain filtering being done to services like, like by services like NextDNS, and others have been wishing to avoid local domain name blackouts where the DNS services they're using don't let them access sites they want to, so the benchmark could be used to help them locate servers that would allow them to get access to those sites. So anyway, the other thing I hear more generically is that people would like to have a way of supporting my continuing work here, you know, on all things GRC. Um, you know, news groups, forums, Shields Up, DNS spoofability tests, all the freeware that I write and, and I'm able to offer, and everything else. So I've decided that my next project before I create Beyond Recall uh, for, you know, super fast, super secure data deletion, which will precede the development of Spinrite 7 for Windows, will be to revisit the DNS benchmark and to give it a major version 2.0 update. There will still and always be a free release available, like it is now. But I would like it to be able to support itself uh, if, it, if it can, and I think it should be able to based upon its observed popularity. So I plan to offer all those new features for $9.95 in a plus edition, and also for the real DNS Pro guys, a Pro edition for $19.95, which will do a whole bunch more uh, run as a service, background logging, lots of long term charting, and a bunch of uh, other stuff. So, uh, that anyway, great. that's the plan. Uh, count me in. When, you, when is it available? Well, <laughs> I'll buy and, it and that's my hope is that I'm going to because it's a it's an update to an existing product. We're not it's not going to be a long time coming. Right. Uh, since I hate the model of subscription software with a passion, despite the fact that the rest of the world appears to be going that way, the agreement I'll be making with the purchasers of the benchmark is that they only ever pay once and they own it and its future of that edition forever without ever any additional cost. So if it succeeds, as it might, it would create a revenue stream that would justify its ongoing improvement over time and yeah. continuing development, you know, as new DNS-related technologies arise. So anyway, uh, I, I'm, I will have a substantial new, a pair of, you know, a, an upgrade to the to the freeware that'll still be available. And then for people who want more, uh, you know, for less than 10 bucks, well, not much less, nine ninety five. you can, you can get that and own it forever and its entire future. So, uh, that's my it's story. smart to have the nine ninety five and then the next one up. Cause I know that everybody looking at that's going to go, well, for 10 bucks, I can get pro, but I want the super duper edition. 
for twenty bucks because that's yeah. twenty bucks. Is not and actually uh, a good that deal. that I got that thought from John Dvorak, mm-hmm. who who uh, uh, he and I talked like just sort of I, yeah he oh he wrote to me. Be, and and then we, we we ended up having a couple hour conversation because he wanted what to know what email system right. I was using because he was leaving um, uh, uh, monkey mail whatever that thing is called <laughs> chimp <Chip> mail <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, and 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 the 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 point he made was he said you know don't put a cap on what people can pay you because yeah. they might want to pay more he's and done like, very oh. well with that <laughs> i might add <laughs> Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security.